all of a sudden, like thousands of dragonflies came from everywhere and started dancing out in the middle of the arena. And then when I got done playing, they just all disappeared. And all weekend and to this day, people still go, there's the guy that makes dragonflies dance. So you never know what's going to happen when you play for animals. Ah, what I do to get connected to the earth, like sometimes I just get fed up with the outside world as far as, you know, traffic and pollution and everything when it gets me down. I go sit up in the high country like this and sit there and play my food and just soak up the energy from the earth and the high sierras and breathe the fresh air. It's kind of like a meditation type thing, but it's still just, a, I call it rejuvenating. Earlier we went out and I played my flute for a family of coyotes, a mother baby and a father coyote. And it was the funniest thing because like mother baby hid but the father ran out to the meadow and sat where he could watch me because we were right along the Snake River up there on a meadow and he was sitting there watching me play flute and about the third song the little baby coyote came up from hiding and ran out to the meadow and he started dancing and singing with my flute music. He was like bucking up and down and spinning circles and he was howling like but he was like howling with the flute. He was trying to howl like the flute but not like a coyote.